Today's workout is going to be so fun. We're doing a dancer's sculpting workout. I love the style of workout. I love how I feel when I do this workout. We're going to sculpt the total body. We're also going to focus on flattening and toning the core. This is great for anyone to do. However, it is safe if you're postpartum, if you have diastasis recti, if you had a C-section after you've been cleared for exercise, and it's also safe during pregnancy. You also don't need any equipment except for a bottle of water to keep hydrated. Let's start by bringing our feet wide apart. We'll warm up with some sumo squats. You can bring your arms up and down. Feel free to use your own style here. Last one. Good, let's bring our hands to our shoulders, arms up, shoulders roll down your back. We can go up on our heels and come down. Let's pulse here. Engaging your core, keeping your ribs pulled in and down. Sink a little bit deeper. Beautiful. We can release your heels down, then lift one heel up and down, staying in your sumo squat, re-engaging your core if you need to. Good, let's switch to the other side. Tiny pulses while you do this. Good, let's release up. We are going to curtsy lunge. You can take a fourth position as we curtsy lunge and coming up, keeping your core engaged. Beautiful. Two more. Now let's take that back foot, point it, cross it behind, your front leg is still bent, and we'll do a little port de bras with an oblique crunch. So you're going over and back, really engaging your obliques and your core here. Last one, good. Coming up, we can switch to the other side. Beautiful, one more. Bending your front leg, finding your balance, pointing your back foot, and port de bras. Beautiful. Let's bring our feet to First position here, and we'll do and put another port de bras up to fifth, out to second, and down while we do some raises in first position. Last one, good, let's come up, bring our heels together, bend, we can bring our hands back to our shoulders, pulse here, 
Re-engaging your core. Beautiful. My legs are starting to shake a little bit. We can come out now. Let's bend one leg. We can point the other leg out. We'll bring our hands up. We're gonna bring elbow to knee. Engaging your core. Exhale as you lift. Last one, beautiful. Switching to the other side. Last one, good. We can come together. Let's make our way down to the mat, onto all fours. Let's turn the inside of our elbows forward so that when we bend our elbows, it's gonna come straight back, activating our triceps. And then we're gonna shift our weight forward and push up. But we're gonna do that with our leg extended so we can extend our back leg. Let's try that again. We're going to bend, shift forward and up. Now we're gonna take our back leg and cross it, activating both inner thighs, extend, and then we'll bend our elbows, shift forward and up. I'll let you do that on your own time. Leg crossing, extend, Last one. Beautiful. We'll rainbow our back leg so we can take it out to the side. Draw a rainbow across, keeping your core engaged. And back again. Keeping your hips steady, stopping them from swaying. Last one, beautiful. Let's switch to the other side. So we can extend our back leg, elbows down, up, and then inner thigh cross. Last one. Good, release down. We can stretch it out here through our glutes. Good, let's take a quick sip of water.
Let's come back to all fours to get our positioning, but we're gonna lower down on one elbow and we can prop ourselves up with our other hand. We can extend one leg back and so we're opening up with our hips. Press into the ground with your elbow to get lift through your body so you're not collapsing towards the ground. We will lift 10 times here, keeping your core engaged. Last one, beautiful. We can hold it up. Now we're gonna bring our knee in towards our elbow. You can also do this lying down on the ground if this is too much. Last one, let's do 10 circles forward, mini circles, lots of control, engaging your core. And back. Now we're going to flex and point, really articulating through your foot. Last one, beautiful. And we can release down. Let's come up, we can shake it out while we move over to the other side. Coming to all fours, lowering down, opening up your hips. And then we will lift. Beautiful, bring it up, bring knee in towards your elbow, engaging, exhale at the same time. Last one, good. Tiny circles forward with control. Good, other way. Flex and point. Last one, good. Coming in, we can release all the way down to the ground here. Let's straighten both legs. We can take them a little bit forward so our body is lined up with the back of our mat and our feet are a little bit forward. Let's do some big kicks, just however high feels good for you. You can turn out your legs. Let's do one more. Beautiful. Now we'll take it up to a passe position. Straighten, flex to bring it down. One more. 
Beautiful. So you can roll over and do that on the other side. I'm gonna move over this way so you can see me. Always getting down carefully on your side. Straightening your legs in front. Getting ready for kicks. Last one here, beautiful. Bringing it up to a passe position. Straighten, flex down. Drawing it up. Let's do one more. Beautiful, we can roll carefully onto our back now. Walking your heels up so your fingertips can touch. Let's press our lower back into the ground, engage our lower belly, engage your pelvic floor, press up into a bridge. We can come up onto our toes, lifting our heels off. Let's pulse here. Good, staying up on your toes. You can just extend one leg and you can hold here, or if it feels good, you can bring that foot all the way up and bring it down to switch legs. Not letting your hips rock. Let's take one more. Good. Untuck your shoulders, roll down. You can bring your knees in, rock back and forth. Let's roll over on one side, come up to a seated position. Let's bring one foot in, extend one leg out, inhale up and fold over that leg just as far as feels good. Hinging at the hips and coming up. Let's go forward again, coming up. Last time, good. We can move through the center here. Let's stretch to the side. Beautiful. Quick stretch the other way, keeping your ribs in here. Let's do that on the other side. Hands up. Last one. Good, let's open it up to the center. Let's 
stretch the other way. Beautiful, and come back to a seated position. I will read the card for the day. I think and say positive things about myself so others, including my children, will one day feel free to think and say kind things about themselves. I will keep making postpartum and pregnancy safe workouts every week. If you like videos like these, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. I will also link in the description box below to my free resources. I have a weight loss course that focuses on cognitive restructuring that I put together as a registered dietitian, as well as my complete guide on how I healed my four finger diastasis recti gap after my pregnancy. If you like this workout, I'm gonna to link to another workout that you might like as well, and the whole postpartum playlist, you can save it and come back to the different workouts whenever you like.